magically turned into Halloween, October 31st, which means tomorrow, November 1st, the hysterical mania of a bunch of authors bursting into tears and pulling out the hair begins. It is NaNoWriMo season. NaNoWriMo, what is that? It's National Novel Writing Month. I've mentioned it before, although I haven't really talked about it. This is my first year in doing it because, well, I have Katie Tastic to thank because without her, I wouldn't have known it existed. What kind of author doesn't know about this? Me, apparently. I have her to thank. Her links are below. She does little kind of NaNoWriMo walkthroughs of how to press, how to get ready, you know, day by day type of things. And that's where I got my idea to do the daily vlogging from. So thank you, Katie Tastic. NaNoWriMo. Lots of prepping has to go into NaNoWriMo. And I have been prepping myself probably since July. I have my novel figured out, I've got characters, I have a setting, I have a whole freaking spreadsheet of what I need to do every day, and it's just very OCD and it makes my brain happy. Apart from that, there are many other ways I have been getting ready for NaNoWriMo. I like to eat while I write. I tend to do a lot of junk food. I like chips, I like chocolate, because, well, who doesn't like chocolate? I like candy like Twix and Kit Kats and deliciousness things like that. I won't be doing that this time, at least not for all of it. In replace of the candy, I have delicious apples, which I can eat with peanut butter. I have some grapes. And okay, yes, this will not make it all throughout November. I'm planning to buy more. Another way I have prepped myself is iPod music time. I love listening to my music while I'm writing. I prefer to have the headphones in because it blocks out anything else around me. So cell phones, people outside screaming, you know, the apocalypse. It's just, it's all blotted out. And I can't hear. All I can hear is my own thoughts going in music. During NaNoWriMo, you're sitting a lot. So I'm going to be doing some exercises, some stretches, my yoga. But the best way to keep yourself all refreshed and energized is H2O. Good old H2O. I love my tea, that I drink tea a lot while I'm writing. And I do, because I have monkey tea, and he's strong and delicious. But this is not the only box I have. Oh no. Oh no, it is not. You would think this is a big box. That is nothing. Let me show you a big box of tea. 240 bags of frickin' tea in it. I am ready for this tea indulgence. Coffee! You cannot forget the coffee! NaNoWriMo would be nothing without coffee. Writing would be nothing without coffee. Life would be nothing without coffee. Coffee is nothing without sugar. Milk and sugar and coffee are just deliciousness all balled into one in a steaming cup of awesomeness. And to go with my steaming cup of awesomeness, you need an awesome cup. And lo and behold, I have an awesome cup. It is a Harry Potter cup that says, I must not tell lies. And it's got a little quill on it. I got it while I was in London with my parents, me, my mom, and my sister. We went to the Harry Potter studio where they filmed the Harry Potter stuff. And I got myself a mug specifically for NaNoWriMo. I'm Batman. This is my NaNoWriMo hoodie, the thing I'm going to be chilling out in, relaxing in, and it's fuzzy, and it's warm, and it will make my life awesome. I also have old scrub pants from when I was in the dental assisting back in America, so those are going to be kind of like my lazy fat pants that I'm going to be wearing with my Batman hoodie, because you feel awesome while you're wearing Batman. Alright, not that I'm going to show you guys this, but I also have an obscene stack of notebooks, a whole box of pens, and just crazy things like that. So that way, if my computer decides to malfunction, or I'm on a train for some reason, or something, I can sit down and I can write on paper, like old school style. I like the old school style because, well, unless if I like throw it away, or something spills on it, or it catches on fire, or rips, it's always there. It's not like a computer where if it dies, it's gone forever. That is how I am prepping for NaNoWriMo. I told you guys I'm going to be doing daily vlogs of what I'm writing, what I wrote, how many words I wrote, and just things like that. I'm going to try and do that. I make no promises nor guarantees because I have to focus on writing and 
If I don't get one out in a day, I apologize, but sometimes things happen, and maybe I wrote at night. No one knows. Erica, what novel are you writing? Oh, that's a good question. Let me tell you about it. My novel is called The Hunted. It takes place in Victorian England. Yes, I've spoken about this before. Yes, the first chapter is up on my figment. Yes, it is an old novel, but I was stumped on it, so I'm revamping it. I'm starting it from scratch. I'm going to even redo that first chapter, which I do truly love, but I'm going to redo it. I might do it in a different point of view. I'm not sure yet. I should probably figure that out, but that is what my novel's about. It's four kids who are in an aristocratic home. Basically, the main character, Avery, is taken from her home in Ireland by a boy named Peter, and in that time, she discovers she kind of has this power or, you know, ability to control and manipulate the element wind. Basically, these kids are taken into an aristocratic home. Avery is the newest addition, and they're kind of like trophies almost. The aristocrats show them off, like, oh, look what I have, and they use them as ways to destroy their enemies or people they just don't like, other aristocratic families who might have more power or more land than they do, and they don't feel it's right, so they're like, hey, go burn their land or something. In the same time, there is a group of people who are running around trying to kill these kids or adults because they feel that they're abomination and that it's not God's will or God's choice for them to be like this, that it's the devil's work, so they're kind of like a religious cult going on. But who's in it is like so secret because I know who it is and you're going to be all like, oh! <gasps> What? And it's going to be a trilogy. I have this already planned out. I am so amped for this, and it is going to be awesome, and yes! I'm just so excited. So keep posted, because I'm going to talk to you guys about how much I wrote, and maybe a little bit about what I wrote about. NaNoWriMo, I am, I'm prepared. If you guys are doing NaNoWriMo, let me know below. If you want to, you can write Buddy Me. I'm not sure Buddy Me on NaNoWriMo site, whatever that is. And we can become writing buddies and support each other because we need all the support we can get. Until then, to all you nanoers out there, best of luck tomorrow. The madness begins. And I will see you then. Goodbye.